lot of questions still out there as to what the motive was. Why here? Why now? Um, and, and that is something that is going to be discovered over the coming days, if at all they can answer that. Right now, though, we're going to try to get some more information from someone who was inside that theater at the time and a witness to what happened. Kiefer Sanders joins me now by phone. Um, Kiefer, now, make sure that we understand this right. You were in a different movie theater inside that complex, correct? Has this happened? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, uh, what did you see? What did you witness? Walk us through that. Um, it was about 7:30ish. We uh, the movie previews had just stopped, and our movie was beginning. And probably five minutes into the movie, the screen went uh, black, and then an emergency siren went off, saying evacuate to the closest exit immediately. So we went through the uh, back door. And then back there was probably a hundred people or more, all evacuated through the uh, back of the theater. And then once I walked around to the front, the police were already arriving on scene. Some were already there. Um, and I witnessed there was a lady who had been shot in the leg, and she was laying um, across the sidewalk, the grass kind of, in apparent pain, just um, waiting on the ambulance to get there. They had a few men around her, aiding her, kind of coaching her through. Uh, what was going on, and then um, the cops uh, went through the front doors, and um, they had a guy who was actually in the theater that I spoke to, said that they were sitting there just watching a movie, and right whenever it started, it was really quiet, no kind of argument or anything was going on. The guy just stood up and opened fire on the theater. They said it was kind of just a, he didn't really have any care about whether he got out or not, just was kind of patiently just shooting around. Hmm. And that is just a frightening scene that uh, you described there. And you weren't even in the exact theater where all the gunshots went down. Now, that no, no. reminds me of what we had just heard uh, moments ago by Governor Bobby Jindal there in Louisiana. He said that uh, he had spoken with uh, two teachers who were actually inside that theater at the time of the shooting. Both had been shot. One was shot in the leg. I don't know if this is the same person that you saw there, uh, but said that that teacher had the presence of mind to pull the fire alarm, which indeed saved lives. Could you you hear that fire alarm going off? Is that what alerted you to get out of that theater? Yes, yeah, ma'am. That's that's what went off in our in our showing. Just that uh, evacuate immediately. The lights came on. The screen went black, and a kind of like a per uh, public service announcer came over saying uh, evacuate immediately through the closest exit. And what did people do? What kind of reaction? Of course, they're going to do what it says. But I mean, was there a sense of chaos? Was there a sense of calm? Were people panic? Walk us through that. It, it wasn't a chaos, but it was a, a, a concern for sure. It was just kind of an eerie feeling. Mm -hmm. Just it, it felt like something was going on. They had a uh, few people scramble out quick. A lot of people with children were kind of trotting across the uh, parking lot to get away. And we didn't know exactly what was going on until we got to the front and everybody saw the lady uh, lying in the grass that had been wounded. As for the gunshots, uh, d did you hear the alarm or did you hear any of the gunshots? I heard the alarm because the movie we were in had just started. It was a pretty loud scene whenever it cut off. But all I heard was the movie. What was the police presence like there? Because we are hearing from that news conference that officers got to that scene quite quickly. And in fact, they could hear the gunshots. And instead of taking cover, they were headed into uh, that, that fire, or not fire, but the, the gunshots. You could hear them going off. They were headed toward those sounds. It, it was amazing how quick they responded and nothing but praise to them for what they did. They went in with no fear and did their jobs. Um, like you said, they were there immediately. We were probably out the back of the movie theater and the cops were already showing up. Did you they get did a chance job. to hear or, or see or maybe gather any information about this shooter? What have you heard? All I heard was that he uh, was an elderly male in his late 50s, uh, an elderly white male. That's all I heard. Mm -hmm. And they just sit up and open fire. And have you spoken with any people uh, since leaving that theater, since evacuating there? Have you spoken with any of the injured? Or what are people telling you? No, ma'am, I have not. They, uh, I heard there was a, a couple of fatalities that they haven't mentioned yet, but um, I haven't really heard anything other than what I've told you. And, uh, it's just it's a surreal, surreal. It seems like something you'd see in a movie. Right. And before we um, let you go just momentarily, Kiefer, what's going through your mind? I know you're still processing all of this, and it, and it does sometimes take a while, especially in a situation like this. Uh, uh, what's going through your mind right now? It's just, it's, 
amazing that at, at a drop of a hat something like this could happen in such a great town, great people. It's just you never expect that to happen in Lafayette, Louisiana. Right. It's just it's, it's surreal right now. Uh, that is absolutely understandable. All right, Kiefer Sanders, uh, glad that you are okay. Thank you so much for the information you provided this evening. And now.